You're listening to Life with Herpes, and this is episode 7. Alexandra Harbushka, and you are listening to Life with Herpes. So welcome. Thank you for being here. I am always excited to be here with you, and um, I, I'm truly grateful and appreciate that um, we can spend our time together. So whatever it is that you're doing, I'm doing with you, which is super rad and cool, um, and together we are going to talk about herpes. So um, I just stopped what I was doing decided to take my own advice and um, then I was like, before I take my own advice, I'm going to record a podcast episode on it. So um, as you guys have heard, we have um, a private community. It's the Life Therapies community. It's free. It is, uh, I mean, I think it's cool. Um, There's a lot of members in there that are very active and it basically is a private community. It's a sounding board um, and and just support for us living with herpes, whether it's oral, genital, both. In my case, I have both. Lucky, lucky Alexandra. Um, But just a community for us to ask questions, feel comfortable, be ourselves, and not worry about the judgment, the stigma, um, the shit that uh, we get when we tell people we have herpes or don't tell people we have herpes and feel like we're not even in our own skin. So anyways, um, I got a great question. So anyways, if you want to join, go to lifewithherpes.com. That's lifewithherpes.com. Go on ahead and join. It is uh, free. Like I said, you get to join the Slack group. It's it's If you haven't used Slack, it's way better than Facebook for what we're doing. It keeps it private. You can use an alias name. You can upload your a different picture, uh, whatever. So basically, nobody's going to know who you are unless you tell us. So pretty cool. Pretty cool way to do it. Okay, so this question um, came uh, from a couple of members a couple different times. So I had a couple girls um, here talking about taking antivirals um, since they've been diagnosed with herpes, and they take it to prevent daily outbreaks um, and just not deal with it. But what has happened, um, and in some cases, and I and I know all of us. We're, we'll raise our hand and be like, yep, that happens to me too. Um, in this one instance, um, one of our mem- members was saying that she was extremely stressed out, family stuff, awkwardness, tension at work, general anxiety. And what happened was she basically put her body in stress and then she was feeling that little tingle um, that we all know, right? That little like that, ooh, is that an outbreak? I don't know. I'll know in like a day or half a day if that is an outbreak. Um, so it's that hot, it's like a hot spot or it's an, or it's that tingle or it's kind of an itch. Um, so basically she wants to know if that is an outbreak um, or is it the antiviral just working its magic and keeping the outbreak at bay? So I've had this question a couple times. Um, and so here, so here's what I wanted to say. Um, and this is actually my response. I'm going to kind of read through it a little bit, but, um, yes. So stress will absolutely cause an outbreak, right? Stress is like one of the worst things for us possibly yet. We don't, as a society, as humans, we don't know how to digest it, how to let it go through us, how to use stress to our advantage and things like that. Stress causes so many things, um, which, We don't even have time to go into on this podcast. We'll just go directly to herpes. So um, yeah, stress causes outbreaks. For me, that's one of my number one triggers. Um, And what happens is when we're stressed, our immune system goes down because our body's like, eek, like Alexander's stressed or whoever, whatever your name is, like, ooh, Alexander's stressed. Okay, okay, like fight or flight. Okay, let's make sure she's okay. Is she being like... uh, uh, is she being chased by a saber toothed tiger? Oh my gosh, is there is there a truck coming in front of her? Is, is she going to get hit by a car? Like what is going on in her life? How do I protect her? And so what happens is it goes away from doing its normal thing and 
keeping the immune system going and all of that. So what happens when we're stressed? Our immune system goes down. Okay, well, what also happens when we get outbreaks? Our immune system goes down. So like then we get even more stressed because we're like, shit, like my immune system's down. I'm going to get sick. Oh, no. And then you get like, oh, no, I better, I, I might get an outbreak. Oh, no. And then you get even more stress and then your immune system goes down even more and it's just like this full ring circle of just stress and immune system, stress and immune system. So what I said in our uh, Slack group, I said, um, the only way to know 100% if that is an outbreak, if that tingle or that uh, itch or that hot spot, the only way to know if that is an outbreak is to go to the doctor and have the area swabbed. Now, that is probably not your highest and best use of time, especially if you're stressed, right? And your immune system's down. And whatever the stress is, um, you know, going to the doctor or getting it swabbed is not really going to help the situation. You already know you have herpes, so you probably don't need to go get it swabbed all the time to be told, okay, that is, that isn't. It's going to be expensive, and it's just probably not your highest and best use of time. With that being said, your highest and best use of time is to take care of your body, right? Because let's say that you go to the doctor, and he or she goes, yep, that is an outbreak. Okay, what are you going to do? You're going to then go into uh, the, uh, I don't want to use the word crisis mode. You're going to go into the reactive mode of like, okay, I got to get healthy. I got to do this. I got to clear this off my calendar, whatever I need to do to get rid of this, right? So why don't we just get the doctor's visit? And guys, as I'm recording this, I'm making soup and I like can smell it. It smells really good. I made turkey soup. Anyways, it just like the waft came into my office. Um, so what I'm going to say is, um, I would just assume that it is. Err on the side of caution. Listen to what your body's telling you. Basically, what your body is telling you, in my opinion, is, hey, I'm stressed. I'm exhausted. I'm really doing my best to keep you healthy. This is just your little siren, your little nudge, your little poke, your little whatever you want, your little itch, your little hot spot, your little tingle, whatever you want to call it. To say, hey, if you don't calm down, this is going to be a full-blown bad outbreak. What you need to do is slow down, take a rest, take a nap, maybe cancel your plans, maybe don't go do your hard workout, maybe say, you know what, it's a Netflix and chill tonight or Amazon Prime movie and chill tonight. Um, you know, maybe that's really what you should do in this situation. So as I was typing this, I was like, man, I need to take my own advice. Like, I don't know if you can tell or hear in my voice. I'm actually pretty tired. And it's like, so I'll put some soup on. I'll have some soup that's really nutritious. And I'm going to take a nap. I can feel I have a little bit of tingling going on as well. Um, again, is it an outbreak? No. But am I going to err on the side of caution that it could be? Absolutely. So it's my body telling me, you know what, Alexandra? Go take a nap. You've been you've been burning the candle at both ends. Just take a nap. You know, uh, step back for a little bit. So I'm gonna take my own advice. Um, I really want to thank you, ladies, for asking this question a couple of times. Um, and I just thought, yeah, it's really important. And and I know that we all, when because we do have herpes, we go, ooh, is that an outbreak? I know at least I do. Like, ooh, what is that? Or is that just because my thong got rubbed the wrong way with my jeans, whatever it is, right? Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for asking that. I am going to eat my delicious soup, which is, by the way, having bone broth is like one of the best things for our immune system because there's so many great uh, minerals and vitamins that we get from the bones. Um, so I'm going to have some bone broth soup that I made. It's going to improve my immune system and then I'm taking a nap. So I suggest you do that too, ladies, especially all of us, uh, not just ladies, but I'm speaking to the ladies that are in my group, um, that yeah, you just, just slow down. Uh, I know that's easier said than done and everybody else listening. Yeah, just slow down. It's our body's way of telling us, Hey, take a break. All right. So if you want to join this super duper cool, um, and, 
secret uh, community. Well, that sounds really like like the prohibition or something, a secret community. Um, the password is five knocks, and they jump around on one foot. No, totally kidding. Go to lifewithherpes.com. Um, fill out the information. It's free. You'll get an invite to the Slack group where it is exclusive. Well, not exclusive. It's just private. It's it's very private. It's not Facebook. It, you can't accidentally hit share and then everybody knows that you have a hotspot and you think that it could be uh, herpes. Like, no, don't worry about that. All right. Thank you for listening. Have an awesome rest of your day. I am going to relax. I'll be thinking about you all while I am taking a quick nap. And... Thinking about you in positive ways. Like that sounded a little creepy. I will be thinking about you guys in the way. Yeah, that sounded a little weird. Um, I'll just, I'm always thinking about you guys in how I I can improve and how I can um, provide the best content and just be here and be transparent and be present and be a sounding board and just provide the best information. So that's what I mean when I said I'll be thinking about you while I'm sleeping. All right, I'm going to go. Clearly I need to go. I'm tired and I will see you all soon. All right. Have a great day. Bye, you guys.